what's your learning style and what is your training style and, and what's the relationship between these two preferences that you have. These are some of the questions that we're going to be exploring in the Format Immersion Experience and I'm Janine O'Neill Blackwell. I'm the president of Format for Business. I'll also be the facilitator for our immersion program that we'll be hosting on the North Shore in the Covington area and what I want to share with you is a little bit about format and what format means to us as trainers. When we look at the the model for learning, what we see is that learning happens and there are really two dominant forces that are at play when we're crafting learning experiences. One is uh, taking in information and we call that perceiving. And you have a preference for taking in information in a certain way. Maybe you're a feeler, you're somebody that really wants to be in the experience and you rely on your own experience to evaluate what's going on. Or maybe you're more of a thinker, like you kind of like to lay back and, and see what's going to unfold and you like to learn about something more from an intellectual place. Like you might be likely to Google something um, and find out about it before you actually go and experience. Uh, a feeler, on the other hand, would probably have the experience and then be intrigued to want to go Google it and find out more about it. Once you're receiving information on something, then you, you need to do something with it. And that becomes the second dimension of learning that we explore, which is processing. And there's two dominant processes uh, or preferences that happen in this. Some of us are watchers and we like to reflect and internally think about uh, what it is that we've experienced. And some of us are more externally oriented. You know, we want to get into doing something immediately and we learn by doing. So you're either a watcher-doer and you're probably more a feeler or thinker and when you combine the feeling thinking with the watching doing preference what you see is four primary styles that emerge. We refer to them as one, two, three, four and these are the basis of the format framework for learning and also for training and what we see you know in a, in a classroom environment is that a one is somebody who's really interested in the meaning and the greater purpose and their favorite question is why. Why am I learning this? Why is it significant? Why is this something I should be investing my time in? And they're interested in people and ideas and they process through others. They enjoy uh, interacting and learning about what others have to say about a particular topic. The twos are twos because they like to watch and think and their favorite question is what? You know, what do the experts have to say? What data is available on this? What knowledge can I gather and learn about uh, this particular topic? And a trainer with really strong knowledgeability has high credibility with this type of trainer. They like an organized learning environment. The threes, they like to think and they want to move immediately into doing. And they tend to want to edit out a lot of the other stuff that they think is, you know, unnecessary. They're very practical, real hands-on, very kinesthetic, and they appreciate a trainer who has real-world credibility. The fours are, are fours because they like to do and then they want to move immediately back into their own experience and evaluate it themselves. Very possibility-driven, highly dynamic in the environment, probably the first person that's going to jump into a conversation with you, and they rely on this idea of really exploring the possibilities. You know, what if? You know, if you share a piece of content, they're going to say, hmm, well, what about this? All four of these styles have a primary question that drives the learning process. And what's interesting is that this is a conversation bigger than just style because it's really a conversation about what has to happen for learning transfer to take place. For learning transfer to happen, you have to know why I'm doing this. What exactly is it, is it that I'm learning? How's it going to impact me and how do I do it? And if I do it, what's the results going to be? So format is a model for engagement and it's also a model for learning transfer and performance. And that's what we're going to be exploring in the format immersion session. You'll also get to see the assessment tools. You'll see our format training design software that allows you to integrate right brain activities, left brain activities, and a nice strong balance so that you can ensure engagement while also ensuring that you have transfer. If you have any questions, give me a call. I'd love to talk to you. Um, I'm intrigued with what you're working on. Again, this is Janine O'Neill Blackwell. You can reach us at formatforbusiness.com.